In 2023, Japan Railway Journal featured 10 tourist trains that run throughout Japan. Of those 10 trains, we created a ranking, collecting data over a one month period, beginning December 15, 2023, from user curated lists on a special NHK World Japan webpage called Japan Railway Journal, your selection, as well as data gathered from the videos played on official social media. In this program, we will be taking a look at the results. But first, let's look back at the 10 trains nominated. JR East's Kaidi, which connects Yamagata and Niigata prefectures, offers spectacular views of the Sea of Japan. Running in Niigata prefecture, JR East's Koshino Shukura is all about Japanese sake. In Fukushima Prefecture, Aizu Railway's Ozatoro Tembo train features trolley car seats and observation seats. In Toyama Prefecture, Aino Kaze Toyama Railway's The Story of 13,000 Feet gives passengers a taste of fresh fish on board. In Nagano Prefecture, Shinano Railway's Rokumon features delicious course meals from restaurants along the line. Running between Nagano and Yamanashi Prefectures, JR East's High Rail 1375 runs through the scenic highlands which offers views of the starry sky at night. In Yamanashi Prefecture, Fuji Sanroku Railway's Fujisan View Express features majestic views of Mount Fuji as well as suites. In Hiroshima Prefecture, JR West's Eto Setora runs along the scenic coast of the Seto Inland Sea. In Ehime Prefecture, JR Shikoku's Iyonada Monogatari is enhanced by the hospitality of the people along the line. Finally, running between Kumamoto and Kagoshima Prefectures, Hisatsu Orange Railway's Orange Restaurant offers a variety of tastes from along the line. Yes, there is now a growing interest in Japanese tourist trains all over the world, so I'm looking forward to seeing the results of our ranking. Yes, indeed. Looking at these 10 trains once again, it seems to me to be that these trains are all designed to make the train ride itself the purpose of the trip. For example, the magnificent and unique views from the train, plus the taste of the local food on the train. Yes. Let's have a look at the trains that placed third and second. Coming in third place was Shinano Railway's Rokumon. Rokumon runs between Karuizawa and Nagano stations in Nagano Prefecture, running part of the way on the JR line. On board, passengers enjoy a course menu created by a famous chef from a restaurant along the line. The dishes are prepared in the onboard kitchen and served by the train's attendants. In addition to the Western style menu, there's also a Japanese style menu and an evening menu that features locally produced wine. Rokumon has received the following comments. It's a modern day Asian version of the Orient Express. I wish trains in the US were as nice. Rokumon runs three times a day, mainly on Friday through Monday.
In second place was Hisatsu Orange Railway's Orange Restaurant. Orange Restaurant runs between JR Shinyatsushiro Station in Kumamoto Prefecture and Sendai Station in Kagoshima Prefecture. Based on the concept of good food and easy living, Orange Restaurant offers a monthly menu that focuses on locally produced seasonal ingredients. The passengers are treated to a variety of goodies, like chikua fish cake, a local specialty, with tea. And they can also get off the train and enjoy the view from the observation deck. Some days, members of a local volunteer group come dressed in costumes and holding banners to welcome the train. Orange Restaurant has received the following comments. Nice to see friendly welcome from Japanese at the train window. What a treat! Wonderful menu! I love it! Orange Restaurant operates three trips per day on Fridays, weekends, and holidays. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are served according to the time of day. Now, both of these tourist trains are restaurant trains, which means they serve their own course meal on board of the train. And what also stands out is the hospitality of the locals near the Orange restaurant, because they came together to greet the train and brought a dinosaur. Mm. And another thing that is common to both of these trains is that uh, these trains were designed by the industrial designer, Mr. Mitoka, who is also behind many other tourist trains all across Japan. And the locally produced wood is used inside these trains to give the warm and welcoming atmosphere. And this is actually very characteristic of Mr. Mitoka's design. Now it is time to announce our top tourist train. Are you ready for it? Yep. The train that ranked number one is... JR Shikoku's Ionara Monogatari. Mm. This Ionada Monogatari is one of the most popular tourist trains in Japan with the ridership almost always reaching 90%. Now let's find out about the secret of the popularity of Ionada Monogatari in our special report. Ionada Monogatari is a tourist train that runs along the coast between Matsuyama and Yawatahama stations in Ehime Prefecture in the Shikoku region. Running four times a day, mainly on weekends and holidays, the train offers a variety of meals and views that change depending on the time of day. We asked the train's designer, Mr. Matsuoka from JR Shikoku, to tell us about the features of Ionada Monogatari. The wood grained floors and tables create a calming atmosphere. The spaces between the windows were designed to resemble Japanese shoji paper screens, while the blinds are reminiscent of traditional bamboo blinds. The lights along the car are shaped like mandarin oranges, a specialty of Ehime. ま、海を見せるっていうことで作った列車ですので、ま、海向きの席も少しちょっと床を上げて、ちょっと実はこの向きも少しちょっと海の方に降ったりはしながら、ま、お客様ご主人はなるんですけれども、山側の席でもずっ
The deep, rich tones of this stylish car emanate from the cherry wood which is used throughout. The tables are finished with a mirrored surface to reflect the scenery outside. The corridor leading past the galley to the private car has another unique feature. ちょっとここも狭い通路にはなるんですけれども、さ、反対側にちょっと、ま、鏡のような窓のようなちょっとデザインを入れております。で、これはちょっと通路の広さを広く見せるっていうところもあるんですけれども、沿線で手を振ってい
The melody is played in and around the train whenever it arrives and departs, and as it slows down at scenic spots along the line. The idea is to surround the passengers and the area around the train with the world of Ionada Monogatari. This is Shimonada Station, the most popular spot along the line. Here, the train stops for about 12 minutes so the passengers can enjoy the sunset. Boarding Ionada Monogatari, passengers are surprised by the warm welcome they receive from the station staff, as well as the locals waiting to greet them along the line. Locals first started coming out to welcome the train and its passengers voluntarily around 10 years ago, when the train started operation. Now their presence is one of the attractions of Ionada Monogatari. Here at Goro Station, the locals dress as tanuki raccoon dogs to greet the passengers. They are dressed this way because wild raccoon dogs are often seen near the station. This is Mr. Inoue. He started greeting the train like this by himself nine years ago. Usually, he runs a barber shop near the station. But on the days Ionada Monogatari is in operation, he leaves his work to his family and heads to the station to welcome the passengers, which he does four times a day. Beginning seven years ago, local children began joining him, dressing up as little raccoon dogs. The passengers on board are delighted by their adorable appearance. And this is where the mirror in the suite's corridor comes into play. Now, local greetings like this can be seen all along the line. Everyone has their own way of welcoming the train and its passengers. This is Ozu Castle, one of the sightseeing spots along the line. Rebuilt with a wooden structure in 2004, this castle is a regular spot to see people welcoming Ionada Monogatari. Fifteen minutes before the train arrives, an announcement is made encouraging people to wave their banners to greet the train. <laughs> On this day, around 20 people joined in welcoming the train. As it approaches the bridge in front of the castle, Ionada Monogatari slows down. The participants vigorously wave banners as the train passes by. In return, the passengers on board wave back toward the castle. It's a little bit, but it's interesting. 
いやあのめったにできないので楽しかった。<笑>これもあの乗車された方の思い出になるしこちらもですねあのこの大津にお城に来たっていう時にあのたまたまタイミングよくっていうことで一つ思い出になるっていうことであのお互いにとっていい経験といいますかいい体験になるのかなっていうふうに思っております優雅でね本当に旅でしか味わえない雰囲気を移動しながら景色を楽しみながら最高ですね。本当に愛媛を全く知らない私でも楽しめたりとか愛媛の良さがすごい分かる機会になったすごいいい電車でした海外の方に、まあ、乗ってみて乗ってみたいと思っていただけたっていうこと,ことは、まあ、我々スタッフアテンダント含めてすごく、えー、嬉しく思ってますので、まあ、やりがいにもなりますカティさん高木先生本当に心からほっこりできる列車になってますぜひ乗りに来てください Thank you Mr. Matsuoka Now Iyonara Monogatari really stands out for its hospitality for the great design and also for the wonderful interaction with the locals、mm. Also Mr. Matsuoka is an employee of JR Shikoku who used to be in charge of the architectural design like those for station buildings. And he later became part of the、um, design work for vehicles, including that for the Iyonada Monogatari. And this fact gives the Iyonada Monogatari another unique feature because most other tourist trains in other parts of Japan are designed by the designers who are not. The employee or the railway operator. Let's have a look at the final outcome of our ranking. Now, dear, what do you think?、Hmm. Each train has its own charm, and I do admire the people in charge for making it happen. But if I may say so, one of the most important keys to success would be to offer good food on the train. <laughs> Now, we have uploaded the 10 videos of these 10 trains on our different official social media accounts in different languages, and the results we got for the Chinese language, Hindi, and Portuguese were different from the ranking you just saw. So let's have a look. Among viewers of the Chinese language version, the first place went to Aizu Railway's Ozatoro Tembo train. The Ozatoro Tembo train runs between Aizu Wakamatsu and Aizu Tajima stations in Fukushima Prefecture. The two car train has three types of seating Ozashiki tatami room seats, observation seats, and trolley train seats. In the mountainous areas where there are many tunnels, the passengers are entertained by tunnel theater. This special attraction is for the trolley train cars, which have no windows or walls to block the projection. The Ozatoro Tembo train operates three times a day, mainly on weekends and holidays from April to November. And for viewers of the Hindi version, the most popular train was Fuji Sanroku Railway's Fujisan View Express. Fuji Sanroku View Express runs in Yamanashi Prefecture between Otsuki Station and Kawaguchiko Station, the gateway to Mount Fuji. Touted as the closest railway to Mount Fuji, the attendants let the passengers know when the best view spot on the line is approaching. In Car 1, which offers a sweets plan, passengers can enjoy original sweets made by patissiers from hotels along the line, including chocolate mousse resembling a snow covered Mount Fuji. The Fujisan View Express makes two round trips per day, but the sweets plan is only available on weekends and holidays. Among viewers of the Portuguese version, the number one train was JR East Kaidi. k a i 
city runs along the Sea of Japan coast between Sakata Station in Yamagata Prefecture and Niigata Station in Niigata Prefecture. The food, which is prepared in the kitchen space in car 3, is served in car 4, the dining car. Along the way, the train slows down as it passes scenic spots such as inlets, reefs, and uniquely shaped rocks. Kaidi, which offers spectacular views and food, makes one round trip per day, mainly on weekends and holidays. As you can see, the Osatoro Tempo train ranked first. That might also be because it is beloved by a lot of Taiwanese tourists who come to ride and enjoy the train. Oh, I see. And don't you think that the tunnel theater uh, has also contributed to that? Maybe it has. Mm. And in the case of Fujisan View Express, uh, it will be the view of Mount Fuji from the train. And also in the case of Kairi, it would be the view of the Sea of Japan from the train. So a view from the train is also the key to success, I think. Mm. Well, looking at our ranking for this time, our recipe for success seems to be great views, but also tasty meals and the hospitality provided by the staff on board and the locals in the area. Mm, I agree with you. And we are looking forward to presenting you the best and most exciting tourist trains Japan has to offer here on Japan Railway Journal.